Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Live High Lie in the Magic City on the High Lie channel. I'm Stu Nyman. As always, I'm joined by Andrew Blackman. I say as always, but yesterday he was he was out front picketing. Didn't bother to read his sign, so I'm not sure what he was upset about. But uh, but uh, heck no, he wants something or other. So whatever it was, I, I, I hope it all worked out. And he and I today, because apparently the labor situation was resolved, will bring you every point played. All Mutuals Wagering is now open on today's eight-game performance. Each of today's games offers win, play, show, quinella, exacta, and trifecta wagers. Yesterday was force out day, so there's a fresh new $5,000 in the mighty Ocho and $2,000 in the high five. Beginning in game one, the Mighty Ocho, a pick eight wager. Also in game one, the early daily double. Correctly pick the winners of games one and two to play the early daily double. Game two begins the first of our two pick threes, an early pick three and a late pick three. Early pick three is games two, three, and four. Late pick three is games six, seven, and eight. Then we have the high paying high five jackpot, most popular wager here at Magic City. Play the high five, correctly pick the winners of games three, four, five, six, and seven. If you do so, do so correctly. Have the only ticket that does so, you'll cash in on the high five for today. Online wagering is available at watchandwager.com or if you're in the state of Connecticut, mywinners.com. However, placing a bet, not necessary in order to enjoy today's action. We have no scratches in today's performance, ladies and gentlemen. Today's performance is entirely scratch free. So with all that in mind, we ask you to make your wagers as early as possible within scheduled post times and sit back and relax. Post time for game one. Now just eight minutes away. Andrew. So we Hello. can safely say now that uh, we had a major secret, which was that you were traveling to be with family. And that is why you were not with us yesterday. Yes. So my first order of business is to ask you, how was your trip? The trip was lovely. I'll tell Please you what. start at passing through TSA and take us from there. Well, I'll tell you what. If you fly out of Fort Lauderdale, yep. driving to the airport is is very simple. It's a great airport to traverse. Especially if you know what terminal you know yep. you, you're in, because I thought I was in Terminal Two and I had to do a little walk, but that's beside the point. Great start. No issues with security. Flights were good. Ate a lot of good food, and parents were very happy. Celebrated. Not quite their 30th wedding anniversary. What the anniversary is actually in late April, but they okay. were back in Chicago for Easter. Wanted to surprise them, and so that's why uh, that's why I was out yesterday. But they had a great time, and it's good to be back, though. That's the good most important back. thing. Most they important things it. is that your parents enjoy it. That's the most important thing. So I appreciate it, Stu. Yesterday for uh, anything happened yesterday? Any? Uh, nope. Nothing. Yeah. A little bit Benny, of highlight. Benny and just said it was just just highlight and yeah. highlight. We, yeah, we forced no, out the. Uh, we forced oh. out the. The Ocho and the high five? Yeah. How about that? Well, someone took home a nice chunk of change yesterday. Congratulations to the lucky winner. We got seven minutes to go here till game one. We're going to toss it to video here, as we do before the first game. Of all of our performances, this one will explain the scoring format for all eight games, which today, as every day, is Spectacular 7 scoring. Spectacular seven singles games are played with eight players. Each player wears a different color jersey numbered one through eight on the front. These numbers are traditionally referred to as post numbers. Post numbers are used to signify the order in which the athletes will play in a game. These numbers are also used for betting purposes. Don't be confused by the numbers on the back of our jerseys. Those are just for fun. Each game begins when the player in the post one red jersey serves to the player in the post two blue jersey. The served ball must land between the four and seven lines marked on the court's side wall. If the ball lands between those lines, the serve is good and play continues until one of those two players wins that matchup. The player who loses the matchup exits the court and waits for his next turn at the end of the rotation. It's important to note that every game has two rounds. The first seven matchups in a game make up round one. Each matchup in round one is worth one point. Round two refers to all matchups that take place after the seventh and final matchup of round one. The number of matchups in round two varies from game to game. And in round two, each matchup is worth two points. The first player to earn seven points wins the game. 
And we are back here five minutes from the start of game number one. We'll say our hellos. Sam, first out of the gate. Hello, Steve, William, Mo, Michael, Carlton. Hello to everybody here in the chat. Really good day in store for you. Obviously eight games here, but the second edition of the Renegades and the Warriors will commence this evening, 5 p.m. Eastern time. Some great matches of two of our top contending teams. And I looked at the battle court schedule today, Stu. We're well over the halfway point. We've, we've played half the game day, so now into the, uh, the second half of the season, it's crunch time. These teams looking to make a move, and today could go a long way in determining certainly the top two seeds and then maybe who will play in the championship in our spring 24 battle court season. Championship is, I mean, that's hard to believe, Stu. It's just over a month away. Championship will be played on May 17th, about a month and a half. But definitely past the midway point. Good game day today between those top teams, but eight games of Pelota before to get you started. Mighty Ocho and the High Five have been restocked. I believe they were forced out yesterday. As Stu mentioned. So $2,000 if you get, in, get all winners of games three through seven correctly. Have the only ticket that does so. That's in the high five. Same case in the Mighty Ocho. Just had to pick the winners of eight games. That begins in game number one. And it's a $5,000 guarantee if you're able to do so. Three minutes to go before we begin game one. Place all wagers now if you intend to participate in the mighty Ocho or the early daily double. Once again, reminder for those of you just joining us, no scratches in today's performance. Today's performance is scratch free. We were scratch free yesterday, Stu. We were scratch free okay, yesterday. Okay, that's good. I'll go back and check the entries so I can put in the games played. Don't have to uh, make any edits. Mo Crank, what are the playoff dates for Battle Court? Originally, both of the semifinals were going to be played on May 10th. I believe one of the semifinals will be played on Friday, May 10th, and I think the other is played now on Sunday? Sunday, May 12th. May 12th, okay. So that will be uh, the case. So one semifinal on the 10th of May, the other final will be on Sunday, May 12th. Do you have a time for that Sunday? I don't know the timing on Sunday, but I would assume it's after after Pelota, but yeah. I don't I don't know what time. And I'm assuming and I'm assuming a 7 p.m. start on the 10th. I would assume the same thing. Yeah, probably around And then Sunday 5 p.m. We were just holding our heads. How about okay? Easy. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we there's not. You don't know which teams will be we playing on those days. That will be decided when the uh, the four, the top four finishers are determined. But we will let you know as soon as the regular season ends, about the first week of May. So you'll have at least a week notice before who plays on those semifinal days. Less than a minute till game number one. Ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to begin our first game. It is a spectacular seven singles match. It is played to seven points, and points will double after the first round of play. Up first and serving in the red of post one, Cool Fitness. 
Receiving in the blue of post two, Jedden. There's the serve. We begin. Here's the backhand by Cool Fitness. It passes to the inside. Robote up, up, and away. That hit the screen, point one. Cool Fitness first up on the board in our first game. That'll bring to the court the white shirt of post three, CRB. Backhand by CRB. Cool Fitness is there. Cool Fitness from the forehand. Backhand by CRB. Point three. Forehand by Juice. Juice now in the backhand. Juice from the right side. Robote. Diving save. It's going to be wide. Point four. Black shirt, uh, post five receives. Here's Flores. It's good serve by Juice. Here's a backhand by Flores. Juice, backhand from the 10 line. Flores threw that one to the pad, and the pad is bad. Point four. Yellow shirt opposed six receives. Here's Tennessee. Here's the backhand by Tennessee. That hit the overhead screen. Out of play. Point four. Juice has three points. Now receiving in the pink uh, post seven, Kubala. Here's a backhand by Kubala. Juice is there. Great catch at the sidewall by Juice. Juice on the rebote. Keeps it inside. Big bounce brought down by Kubala. Juice on the forehand. Powerfully throwing wall to wall. Rebote. Two wall. Juice makes the catch to the outside. Hard throw. Caught by Kubala. Juice on the left side, what a tremendous catch. Robote by Juice, clips, caught by Kubala. Juice again, catch by Kubala. Ball tipped, point seven. A well, well played point for Juice and Kubala. Purple of post eight receives. Barba.
Here's the backhand by Albarba. Catch by Kubala. Albarba on the forehand. That's juggled. Point seven. Receiving the blue uh, post two. Jedden. Jedden on the forehand, powerfully to pass. Robote. Right up the middle. Jedden has it. Backhand from the 10. Here's the backhand by Kubala. Jedden, good catch the eight line. Backhand to the inside. Kubala's there. Rote save, hits the screen, point seven. Four points for the seven post. Back and ready to receive, post one, the red shirt, cool fitness. Here's the backhand by Cool Fitness. Backhand by Kubala. All tipped. That was kind of an interesting dance you did there. Point seven. Possible game point for Kubala, trying to stop him in CRB. Here's a backhand by CRB. CRB, forehand Robote, just above the pad. Kubala gets there. Big backhand. Robote, caught by Kubala. Backhand by CRB, that hit the overhead screen. Point in a perfect game, post seven, Kubala. Seven wins at four places, one serves to three. This is a playoff for third place. There's a backhand by CRB. Cool Fitness is there. Robote. Cool Fitness on the catch. Karam. Stopped by CRB. He gets that off in time. And scores on the return. Three shows. Unofficial order finish, 743. Your prices will be up in a moment. Winning game one, post seven, Kubala. He had a perfect game, taking second post four. Juice coming in third, post three, CRB. Seven, four, three, the official order finished for game one. There are your prices. $2 Canela, four, seven, 51, 40. The trifecta, seven, four, three, four, 40, three, 40. $2 wager on seven to win, 11, 40. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, is our second game. It's a spectacular seven singles match. Play to seven points, and points will double after the first round of play.
Post time for game two, seven minutes away. Good luck. Before we continue, I see one Havana Fowler in the in the chat. Havana, when I woke up this morning and I went on to Facebook, I believe that the powers that be at Facebook believe somehow this is your birthday. So if they are correct, Magic City Highlight extends a very special happy birthday wish to Havana. Longtime friend of the Magic City Highlight program. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Havana. Hope it's a good day and a wonderful year. Six minutes till we begin game two. Good luck. While we're doing birthday shout outs, brother in law Jordan. You know, it's funny that he's born on, on April Fool's I don't Day. Ha I don't have a brother in law named Jordan. My brother-in-law. Oh, Jordan. oh, your brother-in-law, Jordan. Oh, I see. How about that? He's with my nephew Zach. They're at a golf simulator today, celebrating his birthday. That that is a nice. That's a nice birthday. That's Play a little golf with the kid. That's very nice. You have some fun. So that, happy birthday. That's well. terrific. They're down here or up there? Up in Chicago. Up in Chicago. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. What is your favorite thing about Chicago? What's what is my? Sorry. Well, I know you. I know you prefer the weather down here. Yeah. But like, I mean, my favorite miss, thing. What do you miss most? Like, is if you could transplant people. it. I think it's the people because I, I, there's so many people I know there, siblings, family, friends, everybody. So when I go back there, there's just so much. There's so much to do. I don't know that if I don't know that this is, a, and I know we brought it up in the show before. I don't know if that. I mean, it's a good stereotype to have. Yeah. But for the most part, being a native Floridian who uh, spent some time educating myself in New England no, and sir. then the Mid Atlantic. Okay. I do have to say that the reputation that people from the Midwest have for being good people, I mean, kind, you know, just kind of like generally nice and it is very well founded, is very well founded. Not just because I work with yeah. you, not oh, just because I, and I, have I appreciate that I have tremendous respect yeah, yeah. for your family. But, you know, throughout <laughs> the years, I've known people from the Midwest, not just Illinois, but, you know, I've known a few people from Wisconsin. I know you're a fan of Wisconsin. Absolutely. In that general part of the country, people just seem to be a little bit more friendly. Yeah. A little more chill, too. Yeah. I think it's just, you know, when you deal with the cold weather, you know, if you take you appreciate the little things, like getting outside and doing activities. Well, having that, well, yeah, that translate to New York. Yeah, I don't know. That's you see? Good, that's they, they see, cold. that's a good point. They got cold weather there and not known for being, <laughs> you know. A little more hustle and bustle in the you know in the cities there. And you know, South Florida lot, here lot is just going on. South yeah. Florida here is ridiculous. It's you get behind you get behind the wheel of a car, and just all of a sudden everybody around you is an idiot, and you're the best driver. And the horn is the most you know. I, I wait you know, two <laughs> seconds when that light changes, and I'm on my horn, and you know. It's, oh, you gotta be. And we talk about Andres, and Andres talks uh, quite regularly about being on a scooter in this city. Oh man. That, that's I'm, really taking your life in your hands. I know Andres doesn't fall in this category, but those are some of the worst. Oh, the scooter drivers? The worst <laughs> drivers. Well, they're not bad drivers. They just a little bit reckless, shall we say, yeah. on the road. You know. But Andres, I know him. He's a good guy. He, he obeys the laws of traffic. And Absolutely. Very conscientious. No yeah. question there, about there's, that. There's, there's, eh, eh. You got to be kidding me! It's and Andres, it's Andres' birthday. birthday is today? We know three people that are born on April first. So I got to tell you something. It's That's crazy. It's important to acknowledge this birthday. I mean, of course, we have to find out when I guess Anthony's birthday is to make it fair. But the truth of the matter <laughs> is, you know, again, you want to talk about a nice, hardworking guy behind the scenes, Andres. I know he's not listening. He's not here, is he? He's not upstairs. Upstairs. If yeah. he is listening, a happy and healthy yes. birthday to someone behind the scenes at Magic City who is absolutely vital to the importance of this program. If for no other reason, he's just a positive presence. I don't think he's ever said a negative word. I've never heard it, if he has. It's funny because yeah. it's like he's, 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 he's presented a strong opinion, but it was done very politely. Yeah, no. It was done very politely. And the person we were talking about at the time is like, yeah, that's just an idiot. I think he says <laughs> something like that. Oh, just enough time. We got a video here. Again, happy birthday, Havana, Jordan, Andres, everybody out there. Anyone else on April 1st? Happy birthday to you. Two minutes ago, this video will explain how High Lie is played. 
The main rule of highlight is simple. Players must catch and return the ball in one fluid motion. Sounds easy enough, right? So how do you win? You can win a matchup simply if your opponent overserves, underserves, or serves the ball out of bounds. On the flip side, your opponent wins the matchup if the serve is so good that you fail to catch and return the ball to the front wall. If your opponent fails to catch the ball before it bounces twice on the ground, or if your opponent's Sesta makes contact with the ball but doesn't catch it, then, in both of those cases, you win the matchup. You can also win a matchup if the ball bounces around in your opponent's Sesta during an attempted catch. This is called juggling, and it's illegal in Highline. Another way to win a matchup is if your opponent throws the ball and it lands out of bounds on its return from the wall. The overall game strategy for a highlight player is to make it difficult for an opponent to reach the ball in time or to execute a rebuttal play. Watch in a minute till we begin. Game number two here. Boom, boom, that is, that, that's actually good stuff. That's very funny. But I gave up hope a long time ago. It's the hope that kills you. Now I don't have any hope, so. Maybe this is the year. Game number two. Let's play some high line. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to begin our second game. It is a spectacular seven. Singles match. It's played to seven points. Points will double after the first round of play. Up first and serving in the red shirt of post one. Ben. Receiving in the blue of post two. Flores. Rebote forehand by Ben. Rebote, two all. Oh my, that's out of play. Point two. White shirt to post three. Cool fitness receives. Cool fitness, backhand. Up the middle, Flores is there. Interference ruled, the point will be replayed. Over serve, point three. Green shirt to post four, Tennessee receives. Here's a backhand by Tennessee, catch by Cool Fitness. Scoop. There's the forehand return. Cool committed to the backcourt. Ball bounced over his head, point four. Black shirt to post five, Jedden receives. Here's the backhand by Jedden. Catch by Tennessee. Jedden goes for the Bote save that hits the overhead screen. Point four. Tennessee has two points. Receiving yellow shirt to post six, CRB.
There's a backhand by CRB. Tennessee's there. Robote two all. Out. Point four. For three points, Tennessee is serving now. Barba in the pink of post seven. Floater scores coming out of the box, point four. Four on the board, four points. Here's post eight to complete the first round of play. We have Juice. Forehand by Juice, catch by Tennessee. Almost, that ball's tip, point eight. Juice gets the last point of the first round. Matchups are worth two points now through the end of the game. First to return, the red post one, Ben. Point one. Receiving blue post two, Flores. One one. One is serving with the white shirt, uh, post three. Cool fitness. In and out of the cest of the ball goes, point one. Six points for the one post, possible game point for Ben. Trying to stop him is Jedden. There's backhand by Jen Low, runner to the inside. Ben picks it up the 11 line. Rotate forehand. Ben on the catch. Powerful two all. Scooped up by Jedden. Hard forehand by Jedden. Picked up by Ben. Ben on the backhand. Chuleta scores. Point and game. Post one, Ben. One wins it four places. Eight, two, and three. Playoff for third place. Eight first serves to two. Here's backhand by Flores. Robote coming out. Juice on the Robote. Flores on the catch. Catch by. Juice down low. Catch by Flores. Here's the backhand. Robote to the overhead screen. 
Point two. Possible show point for post two, Flores. Trying to stop him, cool fitness. Here's the backhand by Cool Fitness. Flores is there with a tip ball, point three. We'll turn him around now. Three serves two, this is a show point. Ball missed, landing in. Three shows. One, four, three. Unofficial order finish for game two. Early daily double, 7 one $33.20. Chella Waitron post one, $12. Kinella one four, $40. Trifecta one four three, three twenty one forty. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, is game number three. It is a spectacular seven. Singles match, it's played to seven points. Points will double after the first round of play. Game three begins the high five for today. To play the high five, correctly pick the winners of games three, four, five, six, and seven. If you do so, do so correctly and have the only ticket that does so, you'll cash in on the high five for today. High five, minimum $2,000 guarantee. Post time for game three is now seven minutes away. Good luck. Left side. Backhand by Ratz. Backhand by Nicholas. Wall to wall. Robote coming out. Flores looking for the Robote. Drop shot. Robote scores on the second bounce. Catch by Spinner. Powerful forehand. Excellent Robote save. Robote forehand, low and hard. Scooped up by Aratz, backhand. Salo to all. Beautifully executed in scoring. Over the top to the inside. Beautiful catch. Backhand. Robote coming out. Kate is all the way at the side wall at the five line to make the play. Douglas is there. Scoop. By Ikeda, Karim by Ikeda, that will score.
stop by Ikeda. There's the backhand from the Teng line. Robote forehand to the inside. Benny's there. Two all. Lands in and scores. Benny on the save, light touch. Douglas midcourt. Karam, stopped by Jedden. Cortada by Jedden, caught by Douglas. What an amazing catch. Low and hard. Rebote forehand by Goshetti. Scoop by Manu, backhand. Rotate left side by Goshetti again. Here's Manu. Two all, thrown quickly to score. Manu backhand from the 11 line. Here's Gochetti, lining up. The outside he goes, Manu's there. Manu sharply to the inside. What a catch by Gochetti. Doing on the catch. Powerful throw, looking to pass. Carballo for the Robote. He makes a save. That's a nice save. Julian takes it on the bounce. Hard throw. What an amazing catch. Robote save by Manny. Beautiful catch by Benny at the five line. Low and hard to the inside. Manny again with a phenomenal Robote save. Two minutes to go before we begin game three. Two minutes remaining for placing all wagers in game three in the high five. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to begin game three. It's a spectacular seven. Singles match. Play to seven points. Points double after the first round of play. Up first and serving in the red shirt of uh, post one. Julian receiving blue of uh, post two, Ikeda.
Julian serves. We begin. Seeing white opposed three, Kubala. Here's the backhand by Kubala. Here's a catch by Julen. Scoop by Kubala, backhand. Robote left side. Julen makes the catch. Catch by Kubala. Robote left side. That scores, point one. Green shirt up, post four, Anderluck receives. Sir, point four. Black shirt post five, Benny receives. Benny on the catch, here's the backhand. Scoop attempt miss, point five. Yellow shirt opposed six, Robin receives. Here's a backhand by Robin. Benny makes the catch, backhand from the nine line. Backhand by Robin. Benny's there again. Rebote two all, out, only five. Pink shirt at post seven, Bueno receives. Here's a backhand, Robote coming out. Robote left side, cut off by Bueno at the seven. Here's a backhand. Here's Benny on the catch, backhand from the 10 line. Robote, forehand. Robote forehand by Bueno.
backhand by Bueno. Robote coming out. Karen by Bueno, stopped by Benny. Karen by Benny scores, point five. Three points for the five post. Here's Bragley in the purple post eight. This will complete the first round of play. Big right side by Bragley. Robo take coming out. Karam scores, point five. Benny's gone four straight. We've completed the first round of play. First return, blue post two, Kiva. Kata from the forehand at the eight line. He goes deep. Benny's there. Backhand from the 11. Ball tipped at the sidewall. Point two. Play continues. Two on the board with two points. Here's post three. Kubala. Backhand by Kubala. Robote. Forehand. He catered from the right side to the inside. Kubala is there. Outside placement. Stopped by Kubala. Karen by Kubala. Lands in, point three. Three with two points, one with two points. Kubala serves to Julian. Backhand by Julen. Robote coming out. Julen on the catch. Karam stopped by Kubala. Kubala's Karam opens up and scores. Point three. Three with four points. Here's post four. Anderluck. Backhand by Anderluck. Kubala is there. Robote forehand. And a luck on the forehand from the nine line. Outside placement, got a point four. Four with three points. Here's post six, Robin.
There's the backhand by Robin. Robote coming out. Robote forehand, low and hard. Robin gets there. Drop shot. And luck gets there. Tipped it, point six. Bank of post seven, Bueno receives. Ball over, sir, point seven. Receiving, Bragley. Here's the backhand by Bragley. Catch by Bueno. Bradley, great catch. Here's the backhand from the 10 line. Arbote falls short. Point seven. Seating post five, Benny. Here's a backhand by Benny. Robote, forehand. Robote, forehand by Bueno. Benny's there. Backhand. Catch by Bueno. Rebote forehand by Bueno. Catch by Benny. Catch by Bueno, Bueno hard to the inside. Benny, nice catch, fine return from the nine line. Benny on the catch. Ball tip, point five. Possible game point for Benny in the black post five, trying to stop him. Post two, Ikeda. Backhand by Akita. Benny on the right side from the 11 line. Beautiful catch by Akita. He goes deep. Caught by Benny. Akita from the 10 line. Backhand. Inside placement will score for the win. Point in game, post five. Benny. Three serves, seven. This is for place and show point. Here's a backhand by Bueno.
Kubala missed the scoop. Seven places, three shows. Unofficial order of finish. Five, seven, three. Your price will be up in a moment. Five seven three. The official order finished for game number three. There are your prices: two dollar Kinella five seven thirty two twenty trifecta five seven three one thousand forty dollars even. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, is game four. Spectacular seven scoring. Game four will close out the early pick three post time. Seven minutes. Good luck. Jedden on the hop, brings it in. Sidearm, forehand, Manny knows where to be, pulls in another one. Back over the top, here's Benny. Nice catch on the left side, up overhead. El Barba, that's a tough Robote save. Robote forehand by Tennessee is low to the inside. CRB's on it, winding up. Kind of a drop shot. Tennessee got to it, though. Throws it to the outside. What a save by CRB. Here's the catch by Nicholas from the outside. Big right side. Kubala looking for the rebote. He makes a beautiful save. Bote, saved by Julian, he digs it out. Oriana Bote right at the feet, Julian scoops that one up. Douglas keeps this one to the outside, Julian has it on the forehand, sidearm play. Just out of reach, and Douglas, though, digs out a tough rebote. That's a big bounce over Julian. Caballo, backhand. We'll take forehand by Benny in the middle of the court. Caballo from the seven line. Vote saved by Benny. That's beautiful. Caught by Julian at the night line. He goes deep. Vote saved beautifully by Arat. Did get there. Backhand lobbed and put in the overhead screen. Forehand, Robote powered. Caught off the sidewall. Rocks turns Robote on the backhand. Manny, that kicked up. Him. But what an effort on the backhand.
Bote forehand saved by Iriondo. The Sherry's there. Here's Iriondo. Backhand. Low runner. The Sherry dug it out. Made contact. Bote forehand saved by Manny. Here's Carballo backing in. Bote saved by Manny. And folks, that top 10 there, top Robotes from last season, takes us down just under two minutes from the start of game number four. Steve M. One of many great handicappers that, that watch Magic City. I would agree with Inaki here. Game six, usually a late game player only. And the six post, not a bad one. I definitely see a run out here from that spot. But Benny in the eight, he's been playing well. In the money in both of the late games yesterday and just adding a win there in game number three. So playing with a little bit of confidence. Six or the eight in this one would be a pretty good pick. Less than a minute, early pick three concludes here in this fourth game. Let's begin game number four. We are ready to begin game number four. Spectacular seven scoring. Serving the right of post one, we have Ikeda receiving the blue post two. Ben. There's a serve by Ikeda. We begin game four. That nice catch there off the sidewall. Low running backhand. Here's Ikeda. High and hard. Back into the corner. Ben looking for the rebote. He lays it up. Ikeda on the move. Stops it up at the four line. Drop shot. Scores. Point one. One first up on the board here in our fourth game. That'll bring the court wide to post three. Anderluck. Anderluck, hard forehand, dropping at the feet. Ikeda backs up, takes it in at the 10 line. Soft touch on the forehand. Anderluck advancing. Ikeda on the right side, another soft forehand. This one caught off the side wall. 
You can't now at the nine line. Big backhand again. It's one into the corner. Anderlich lays up the rebote, cutting close to the sidewall. EK to now up at the seven. Backhand. Good catch by Anderluck once more. Not going to get this one past Decatur. Steps back to the nine line. Powerful throw. This one passing into the corner. Robote laid up. Decatur on the bounce. Forehand dropping low. All missed. Point one. Here's post for the green shirt. We have Robin. Scoop by Ikeda on the inside. Big backhand. Robin looking for the Robote. Robote played back up the middle. Ikeda on the hop. Pulls it in up at the eight. Trying to get this forehand to pass, and he does. Robin on the Robote. Keeps it inside. Ikeda again at the nine line. Backhand close to the side wall. There's a good scoop by Robin. Forehand Robote by Ikeda. Back to Robin there. Standing on the inside. Low runner now. Ikeda lets it pass. He lines it up on the back end. Drop shot, kinda. Ikeda trying to pass. Robin, good positioning, caught it in the air, forehand. Gets this one by Ikeda now, scrambling into the backcourt. He turns the rebote. Robin stays up in the front on the forehand, the sidearm carom, not opening up enough. Ikeda stops it outside. Three wall play. Robin knows where to be, and he makes a save. Ikeda on the forehand again, back into the corner. Robin on the rebote, lays this one up high off the front wall. Big bounce, Ikeda steps back to the 11 line. Forehand over the top. Robin cuts it off on the bounce here at the eight. Forehand passing again. Robin, catch on the left side, fires the backhand past Ikeda. He's got another rebote save. That ball kicked up, Robin now on the left side again, back into the corner, Ikeda another one. Good scoop there by Robin as it crossed the sidewall. Backhand coming in low. Ikeda cuts it off. A backhand to wall. Lands in and scores. Well played point. Goes to Ikeda. He's got three. Here's Bradley, post five. Bradley stops it on the right side, up at the 10. Outside placement. Stopped on the bounce. Here's Ikeda. High and hard back inside. Bradley takes it in the air. Powerful backhand. This one passes. Ikeda, left side Robote, turns it into a two wall. But that's too wide. Point five. Five with the point. Here's post six, Inaki. Inaki advances up on the serve. Forehand passing. Robote left side by Bradley. It's a two wall. Inaki staying there on the outside. Opens up for another forehand. That one crossing and scoring. Point six. Six with a point. Here's post seven. Bueno. Inaki from the left side, big backhand. Here's the Robote, Bueno gets that one to pass. Inaki now looking for it on the back end. He lays it up to the outside. Bueno takes it in the air. Bueno, low hard forehand. Inaki, what a scoop there up at the eight. 
backhand drops in the corner. 1 0 now, Robote. Inaki advancing. Keeps it to the inside. 1 0 now. Not a lot on that, Robote. He digs it out. Inaki now up at the six line to two wall. Thrown in to score. Point six. In a receive, rounding out the first round of play. Purple at post eight. Number 55, Benny. Benny from the left side. Ooh, Inaki committed. Make that catch, point eight. That will do it for the first round of play. All matchups now worth two points for the end of the game. First to return, post two, Ben. Good scoop there by Benny on the inside. Big backhand into the corner. Not a lot on it. Ben diving save. Hits just above the pad. Benny gets up there before the second bounce. The carom will score. Point eight. Here's pose three, Andrew Luck. An ace. Great serve by Benny. That scores. He now has five points and a possible game point. And to stop him, Robin. Green post four. Two all by Robin. Ooh, that caught the top of the pad. Point and a perfect game. Purple of post eight, Benny. No playoff here. One places, six shows, 816 unofficial for game number four. Get the prices in just a moment. Your early pick three, one, five, eight, three, three numbers, returning 94, 20. Two dollar wager on eight to win, 11, 20. Two dollar Canela, one, eight, 22 dollars. The trifecta, eight, one, six, one hundred dollars and 20 cents. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, is game number five, the first of our two doubles games. This is a spectacular seven doubles match. Play to seven points. Points double after the first round of play. Part of the doubles championship series here at Magic City. There are no scratches in game five. There are no scratches in today's performance. Post time. Eight minutes away. Good luck. Catch by Ben 
Hard by Ben. Scoop by Ikeda. By Ben. Here's the backhand. Rebote forehand by Carbayo. Ben looking for the rebote. He puts that one inside. Carbayo, a leaping catch. Side, Aaron Deluxe there, backhand. What a catch by Flores, up the wall at the 10 line. Robote forehand, tough one, and he got it. Backhand by Julian, in the corner, the forehand Robote. Saved by Nicholas. Here's Julian. Winds up to Costado. Two wall. Nicholas, there's that line catch. Fake the two wall, put it inside. Benny makes the catch. There's the backhand. Arats on the run. Arats saves the rebote. He's up. Benny makes the catch on the forehand. Low and hard to the inside. One handed grab by Arat. <laughs> hard to the inside. Nicholas is there. Backhand. Bote forehand. What a catch by Hyro. It's capturing an audience that wants to follow you regularly and holding on to them. That's a, that's a tough thing in this day and age. Robote forehand. Hyro makes the catch. Low and hard to the inside. What a catch by Manu. to the inside. Backhand by Gosheri. Catch by Arats. Robote left side stays on the wall. What a catch by Arats. Left side, Robote, Nicholas plays it high off the front wall. Douglas runs under it, shoots it back inside. What a scoop by Nicholas. Robote left side by Douglas. Scoop by Hyro. Hyro back to the inside. Douglas is there. Two by Douglas, red by Hyro, stopped by Hyro. What a catch by Douglas. And folks, that top 10 takes us down. Under three minutes from the start of game number five. Some doubles action beginning here in game number five. Double standings here at this point of the season. Eight wins for Gosheri and Flores, two ahead of Douglas and Kubal, who sit in second place at six wins. You got Hyro and Tennessee moving up that leaderboard, four wins. Also CRB and Benny just got their first win, I believe, in week six. They now have four total, so still in the mix for a bonus prize. Also got to look out, Inaki and Bradley added a win yesterday. They now have three. There's a group of four teams tied with three wins. So all those teams still have a very good chance to get either first or second place 
in this opening doubles tournament of the season. Who is it again for Battle Court this afternoon? Well, we've got the Renegades and we have the Warriors still. 5 p.m. I mean, you look at this schedule. Yeah, it's going to be a good one today. Two of the top teams. I think the two, the top two based on winning percentage so far this season. Second division, third division singles, and then one, two, four, and six doubles. And we close it out with that number one ranked doubles match, go sharing a against Douglas and Nicholas. So make sure you stay tuned throughout the entire broadcast to catch that one. Less than a minute until we begin game number five. Two teams also winless in this doubles tournament. Andrew Luck and Julian Bueno and Robin. Number of in the money finishes, but yet to find the win column. We got both teams here. Bueno and Robin post five. Andrew Luck and Julian post six. See if they can get it done for the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, time to begin game five. It is a spectacular seven doubles match, part of the doubles championship series here at Magic City. Up first and serving the red shirts post one, Douglas and Kubala receiving in the blue post two, Hyro and Tennessee. Douglas serves. Our fifth game has begun. Forehand takes off from Tennessee to the overhead screen, point one. One first up on the board in our fifth game. That'll bring to the court the white shirt of post three. Kate Ben. Bote saved by Kubala. Here's Ikeda. Douglas on the backhand from the seven line. Here's Ben, backhand from the 11. Kubala's there. Robote forehand, Kubal on the catch. Here's the backhand from the 10 line. Here's the backhand by Ben. Kubal is there. Douglas comes cross court, backhand from the eight line. Wall to wall. Robote save by Akeda, light touch. Here's Douglas up at the two line. Power up a throw, scooped up by Ben. Beautiful catch. Ben from the forehand. Douglas makes the catch. Backhand from the seven line. Beautiful catch by Ben at the 12. Big backhand. Robote to the inside. Here's Ben. Douglas backhand from the nine line. Robote forehand by Ikeda. Douglas takes the scoop. Low and hard. 
What a beautiful catch by Ben at the 11 line. Big forehand. Nikita to the corner. Kubala is there. Nikita now from the nine line on the forehand. Sends it deep. Nikita midcourt. Kubala backhand from the 12. Ben on the catch, backhand. Robote forehand. Kubala takes it on the bounce at the 12 line. Here's EK to midcourt. Here's a backhand by Ben. Robote, left side by Douglas. Backhand by Kubala. Robote forehand by Ikeda. Douglas makes the catch. Hard to the inside. What a scoop by Ben. Backhand by Douglas, powerfully thrown, caught beautifully by Ben at the 12 line. Ben from the 12, low and hard. Douglas is there on the catch. What a catch by Ben. Robote left side to the inside. Big bounce brought down by Ben. Karen by Ben. Douglas is there. Cortada scores. Point one. One with two points. Here's post four. Jedden and Manny. Here's a backhand by Manny. Kubala is there. Backhand by Manny. Robote left side. Free wall play by Douglas. Manny on the read. Perfect Robote. However, it hits the pad. Point one. Three points for the one team. This matchup, Douglas serves to Bueno and Robin. Here's the backhand by Robin. Rote by Douglas. Bueno attacks, has it at the sixth line. Big backhand. Kubala's there. Rote forehand by Bueno. He keeps it low. Douglas makes the catch. Backhand by Bueno. Kubala is there. Backhand. Rotate forehand. Cut off by Douglas. Goes back to the inside. Scoop attempt tips. Robote not there. Point one. Four points for the one team. Yellow shirts post six. Sandra Luck and Julen.
Backhand by Jewel into the inside. Kubala's there. Jewel down low. Backhand. Beautiful catch by Jewel and pulling it off the side wall. Kubala on the catch. Backhand from the 12 line. There's a backhand by Douglas. Robote coming out. Anderluck now backhand from the seven line, hard to the inside. Kubala's there. Anderluck again, backhand from the eight line. Robote forehand to the outside. Douglas has it at the six line. Point one. One with five points, here's post seven. Kubala. Here's Benny on the catch. Postado to the inside. Caught by Kubala. Benny takes that on the forehand at the nine line. Big right side, caught by Kubala. Here's the backhand. Robote left side to the inside. Benny's there. Benny makes the catch. Low and hard, caught by Douglas. Here's the backhand from the eight line. Backhand by Kubala. Benny makes the catch. CRB, fine catch there at the eight line. Robote for Douglas. He puts it inside, Benny's there. Benny comes over the top, Douglas is there. Backhand from the eight. Catch by Benny, here's the backhand. Kubala from the 11. Robote left side. Benny from 10 line. Low and hard. That's caught by Kubala. Douglas calls for the Robote. Inside it goes, Benny's there. Benny from the 11 line. Pika, big bounce, brought down by Douglas. Beautiful catch of the nine line. Ball tipped in the backcourt. Fine, straight, five point effort for the one team. Seven gets the point, they take over the serve. CRB will serve to the purple shirts of post eight, Juice and Nicholas. This will complete the first round of play. Benny on the catch, forehand to the inside. Robote. Nicholas on the catch. Ball tipped, point eight. We've completed the first round of play matchups. We're two points now through the end of the game. First to return, Blue Post 2, Hyro in Tennessee. Hyro picks the serve. Low and hard on the return. What a scoop by Nicholas. Scoop by Tennessee. Tennessee comes over the top. 
Pyro calls for their Bote. Four-handed Bote to the inside. There's the backhand by Nicholas. Robote coming out. Pyro from the seven to the inside. Robote forehand by Nicholas. Powerful forehand by Nicholas and Tennessee's there. Backhand from the 12 line. Rebote forehand by Nicholas. That hits the overhead screen, which is out of play. Point two. Two with two points here is post three. The white shirts receive. Kate and Ben return. Here's the backhand by Ben. Robote, forehand. Higher on the catch. Here's the backhand. Outside placement, read by Ben, stopped by Ben. Tennessee gets in there, makes a beautiful catch at the 12 line. Big backhand, caught by Ikeda. There's a backhand by Tennessee. Ben's there. Scoop attempt tipped point two. Two with four points. Returning. The four team, Jedna Manning. Excellent serve by Hiro. Nice catch and return by Manny. Robote, that rebound off the back wall. Saved by Hiro. Manny over the top. Scoop by Hiro. Here's the backhand. Oh, ball tipped off the bounce. Point four. Four teams on the board with two points. Returning post five, the black shirts. Bueno and Robin. Bueno picks the serve, two all, played two score, point five. Five with two points, here's post six. Anderluck and Julen. Here's the backhand by Julen. Robin on the catch, backhand from the 11 line. Robote forehand. That hit the overhead screen, which is out of play, point six. Six has two points, returning with possible game point. The red shirts post one, Douglas and Kubala. Powerful, powerful serve there by Anderlock. 
Julian on the forehand. Kubala from the 12 line, backhand to the inside. Julian advances, backhand from the nine. Kubala from the 12, backhand to the inside. Powerful, powerful backhand. This Rabote is coming out. Anderluck, forehand Rabote for the bounce to the inside. Kubala from the 13 line. Catch by Anderluck, backhand. Rabote forehand. Catch by Julen. Rabote. Julen makes the catch. Going hard. Kubala, nice pick up there at the 12 line. Robote left side. Anderluck attacking from the forehand. Powerful right side. Excellent catch by Julen. Powerful throw. Douglas takes it in the air. Backhand to the inside. Robote forehand. Catch by Douglas. Douglas to the inside. Catch by Anderluck. Here's the backhand. Douglas has it. Douglas back to the inside. Julen looking for the Robote. Plays it beautifully from the forehand to pass. Douglas on the Robote. Catch by Julen. Kubala right side, inside. Here's Julen. Point six. Six with four points. Here's post seven. CRB and Benny. Play continues. Here's a backhand by Benny to the inside. Julian on the catch. Robo take coming out. Scoop by Benny. CRB on the catch, backhand. Here's Julian over the top. CRB's there, backhand to the inside. Rabote for Julen, saved on the forehand. CRB cuts it off, winds up, puts it inside. Julen's there. Julen's two all, way out. Point seven. Seven. Seven team has five points and a possible game point. Trying to stop them post three. Kate and Ben. Here's Ben on the backhand to the inside. Benny's there. Backhand from the 12. Benny, backhand from the 11. Rabote forehand, drop shot, scores on the second bounce. Well done by Ikeda, point three. Play continues again. Three with two points, here's post two. Hiro in Tennessee. Good catch by Tennessee. There's backhand, clears the overhead screen. Ben from the 12 to the inside. Robote, forehand by Hiro.
Catch by Akeda. Here's the backhand to the inside. Catch by Ben. Ben on the backhand. Big backhand. Rebote forehand. In and out of the basket, the ball goes. Point two. Possible game point for the Blue Post two, Hyro and Tennessee. They have six points. Trying to stop them are Jedden and Manny. Here's the backhand by Manny. Tennessee on the forehand from the 12 line. Over the top to the inside. Manny's there. Iroh has it. Backhand from the seven. Hard to the inside and Manny. Beautiful catch at the back wall, almost. Point in game, post two. Hyro and Tennessee. Two wins it, one serves to seven. This is a playoff four, second and third place. Here's a backhand by Benny. Kubala makes the catch. Backhand. Kubala on the catch. Backhand. Benny from the 11 line to the inside. Robote. Left side. Outside. Lands in. One places, seven shows. Unofficial order finish, 217. Your price will be up in a moment. Winning game five, post two, Hyro in Tennessee. Taking second, post one, Douglas Kubala. Coming in third, post seven, CRB and Benny. There are your prices. $2 Canelo, one, two, 18, 40. The trifecta, two, one, seven, 107, 60. $2 wager on two to win returns $18. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, is game six. It's a spectacular seven singles match. Play to seven points. Points will double after the first round of play. Game six will begin the late pick three. No scratches in game six, seven, or eight. Post time, eight minutes. Good luck. Rebote forehand by Flores. Here's Jairo. Two all by Flores <laughs> will score. There's a backhand by Ratz, catch by Julen. Big right side by Julen, goes wall to wall. Bote coming out. Two all will score beautifully again for CRB. Up the eight line of the backhand, Ratz backs up, pulls it in. This one overhead, there's Nicholas Robote forehand. Rots runs under it, shoots a two wall to score.
Here's the backhand by Iñaki. Robote coming out. Two all opens and scores. Backhand by Gosheri, powerfully thrown. Robote comes out to the sixth line. Turned on the forehand of Iñaki. Gosheri winds up. Costado, two all, opens up wide. Robote forehand. This one caught by Iñaki, sends it to the inside. Yaki on the catch. Two all, two score. <laughs> Nicholas will take it on the bounce at the 10 line. Low and hard to the inside. Gosheri's there. Backhand. Two all. Scores. By Julian, powerfully thrown. Robote kicks out to the seven line. Benny's on it. Julian takes it on the bounce at the ten line. Going hard to the inside. Benny turning a difficult. That had the distance, landed in, and scored for the win. Stay on the wall, kicking up, beautiful catch, nice control, there's the backhand. Outside placement, Douglas, high scoop, two wall, off the Robote, scores. Forehand of Douglas, caught by Manu. There's the backhand by Manu, caught by Douglas. Douglas goes deep. In is the call, point seven. And folks, those were the top 10 two walls from last season here at Magic City High Live. Down three minutes until the start of game at number six, the feature singles games. Top singles players coming out, competing in games six and eight. What a doubles game. I mean, early point, what was that? Douglas and Kubala against Decatur and Ben just went on forever. It felt like, a, felt like we were in battle court. Mr. Dixon said that, I believe. A number of great points. Yeah, that's what's tough about this game. Douglas and Kubala won five straight points out of the one post, and then they had to fight for, for second place. Really nice shot there by Douglas. Secured that second place finish for his team. But with that win, Hyro in Tennessee, Making their way up the leaderboard. That is now five wins for Hyro and Tennessee. They are just one behind Douglas and Kubala. Looking to get into second place or at least to tie a second place. Top two finishers in doubles will take home a bonus prize. The top three finishers in singles will take home a bonus prize. First and second place come from these feature singles games only. So first and second is the most wins in games six and eight. And then third place in singles this year will go to the most wins in games one through four. There's some of those guys that play in games one through four a chance to 
take home a bonus prize, but leaving the top prizes to just the feature game players. Game number six, just about a minute away. And gentlemen, ready to begin game number six. It is a spectacular seven. Singles match. Played to seven points. Points double after the first round of play. Serving Richard at post one. Douglas receiving blue post two. Hyro. Here's the serve. We begin. Rotate forehand. Lands out. Point two. White shirt up post three. Go Sherry receives. Here's the backhand by Goshetti. Hyro's there. Point two. Two at two points. Here's post four, Nicholas. Robote forehand. Just catch by Nicholas, backhand to the inside. Scoop by Hyro. There's the backhand. Robote forehand by Nicholas. Hyro's there. Outside placement, well timed and scoring. Very well done, point two. Two on the board with three points, here's post five. Manny. Backhand by Manning. Robote forehand by Hyro. Beautiful. That passes. Manny on the Robote. Hyro advances, takes it in the air. Here's the backhand from the seven line. Robote two all. Drops in. Oh, Hyro is there. It was out of the basket. Well executed by Manny. Point five. Yellow shirt, uh, post six, Julen receives. <laughs> Point 
Manning from the nine line. Forehand goes back. Julian's there. Rotate forehand. Rotate left side. Catch by Julian. That ball hits the overhead screen, which is out of play, 0. 0.6. Panka, post seven, Arats receives. <laughs> Robote forehand, catch by Arats. Rotate left side. Julian on the catch. Forehand from the sixth line, low and hard. Arats is there. Backhand. Julian from the forehand. Rotate left side to the inside. There's a catch by Julian. Here's the backhand. Rotate coming out. Rots midcourt. Rotate forehand, the big bounce. Rots will step in at the nine line. Played point goes to Julian, post six. Here now to complete the first round and receive purple shirt, post eight, Manu. Here's the backhand by Manu. Robote forehand to the inside. Manu's there. Backhand. Point six. Three points for Julian. We've completed the first round of play. Matchups are worth two points now through the end of the game. First to return the red of post one. Douglas. Here's a backhand by Douglas to the inside. Robote forehand. Douglas takes it on the bounce. Backhand from the 11 line. Passes. Low and hard. Beautiful catch by Douglas. Here's the backhand. Douglas makes the catch. Karam. Well executed and scoring for Douglas, point one. One with two points, here's post three, Gushetti. Ball cuts back in and scores, point one. Post four receives, Nicholas. Rotate forehand. Two all, scores for Nicholas, point four. Four with two points, here's post two. High row.
Here's the backhand by Hyro. Hyro from the forehand. Nicholas is there. Backhand. Ball tipped, point two. Hyro has five points and a possible game point trying to stop him. Black plus five, Manny. There's the backhand by Hyro. Hyro makes the catch. Low and hard to the inside. Will score for the win. Point of game, post to Hyro. One places, six shows. There are your prices from game number six. <clears throat> Two on six is now official. Hyro with the win, post one. Douglas coming in second, post six. Julen takes third. The Kinawa one, two. 29.40, trifecta two on six, 2.53 even. $2 on the two to win. We'll get you $10 even. Up next, game seven, second and final doubles game in this afternoon's performance. Going up to seven points. Points double after all matchups in the first round of play. Post time for game number seven. It's just about eight minutes away. And let us see the high five. Oh, wow. After yesterday, we are back. The two, the three, the six, and the eight. For a full $2,000. My oh my. Some good handicapping. Did I see what I thought I saw? Y yeah, you did. And you know it's not force out day? Not not force out day. That was yesterday. And some folks missed out and took another crack at it. And here we are. 2000 more. Around. Time to start collecting from the players. Yeah. That 2,000 doesn't just grow on trees, uh, my friend. Mm. Wow. Was the uh, was it hit yesterday or was it four or five? Five or five? Do you remember what the? I believe it was four or five for 500 and change. Okay, it's like pretty good price for. Uh, and, and you know, once a once a day has passed, I can't tell you what happened. No, it's okay. But also with the mighty Ocho. Yeah. The mighty Ocho. Um, $5,000 went in the Mighty Ocho. So one That's pretty cool. So, yeah, yeah, one so, person so, so collected. One person did have it. But I think, I, I want to say six of eight, maybe? That's, yeah, that's still pretty good. On, on six of eight? No, I thought that was excellent. Well, there you go. Two, three, Two, six, three, and eight. Two, six, and eight. Wow. My, oh, my. Full board today. Thank you, Steve, as always. Four, five. Had four winners paying yeah, 563. You were you were right there, Stu. I, I, you, you had it. Well, when you left me here by myself, it's like it's like holy moly, I gotta concentrate. Yeah. <laughs> I still can't believe when you were. At, there's just so many things that happen between these two computers that I just I completely blanked on one of them. What? <laughs> the scoring on. Oh, the, when uh, you sat in. When I oh. sat for you. When I you sat in. Jim P. heard an yeah, F-bomb. Might help. Ah. Sometimes I have a really good memory, going all the way back to 2018. Sometimes I don't have a good memory. Balancing act. Very interesting, Jim. 
So once upon a time, uh, in Highlight, obviously anything along those lines, especially in front of the audience, you know, is just instantaneous punishment. So one of the things that I found to be very interesting when, when Scott hired me for this position was that I believe while they were involved with Dania Highlight, that's West Flagler Associates, um, I, Scott mentioned that they had ordered a study, I guess is the, is the best way to put it. And basically, you know, hey, come in and take a look. So they were, they were you know, secret shoppers. And, and one of the things that was brought up that was very interesting, that was consistent, was that people new to the Highline experience were surprised at the lack of emotion that was shown by the Highline players. And they attributed it to that to a lack of caring. Mm. So one of the things that Scott wanted to incorporate back in 2018 was the players being allowed to show emotion. And so literally, it's, 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 a, it's, it's a balancing act. And it, and it does go person to person. Um, the guys know that, the guys pretty much will know where the lines are. For instance, if we're talking about what happened with uh, Kubala earlier, you know, he's out there playing a point, playing a point, playing a point. He had to sit out most of last year uh, meaning that he only earned the base salary and no, no prize money, uh, and plus deal with that really, really heinous yeah. surgery of, yeah. you know, a full ACL reconstruction. So he's been playing good. So for him to get frustrated like that, that's not, that's not, that's not belligerent. You yeah. know, that's that's there, there's something natural about that. The way that I do it, the way that I judge it, and I think that I'm pretty judicious with this is that if it's genuine and genuine frustration within the moment, we do, we do for the most part let it go, especially now in the seventh year. If it's gratuitous or it's, if I perceive it to be not genuine and someone putting on a show or attention seeking or something like that, then yeah, that, that, that'll likely get a fine. That'll likely get a fine, that's where the thing is. It's interesting what you say about the uh, the study. You know, even in other sports too, like a prime example, one that comes to mind is a former Chicago Bull, Derrick Rose, basketball player, mm -hmm. wasn't known for his you know his spirit. It wasn't a rah rah guy, but one of the most competitive, hardest workers. And mm -hmm. one thing my mom consistently said is, I don't like him because he doesn't show any emotion. Yeah. Sometimes, you know. I guess the best way to put it is just because you're screaming the F word as loud yeah, as you possibly exactly. can, does, no, that's not it doesn't mean that you, that no, the others don't care. I no, guess that's this, the best this, way this to. may shock you, Yeah. but when I was a youngin, I know oh. Jim P has played, but when, when I was young, yeah, and I was in the high life school, um, I was asked to leave the court a few times for just playing. I'll never forget, it only happened twice. Catching was, you know, difficult for me. My serve was great. So I had a couple really, really good points. Back to like, ran like, you know, six, seven, eight points or something yeah, like that. Right. Had a, a really good rhythm yeah. with my back quarter. Then ran up and made the common mistake. I was going to take the ball, Bote Corredo, on the right side, and I was going to throw a carom. And this is in the High Life, Miami High Life School. I was going to throw a, a carom, and I tipped it. And I remember my helmet came off. I didn't throw it, but my helmet came off, and I was just like, M, F, -er, and bum, bum, and yeah, the teacher was pointing at the door. Yeah, I said no. I was way. I was 15, I was 15 <laughs> or 16 at the time. I was he was pointing at the door. Yeah. So you know there was zero tolerance, and of course with the betting aspect of it, that was a, something that was always, you know, pretty important. Um, people are betting on you, so maintain your professionalism at all time. So highlight's always had that tricky thing because the truth of the matter is that anyone who's played highlight amateur or professionally knows that. As you're going to about find out, you know, yeah. Right now oh, no. you're still in the honeymoon period. Well, I still, I've this thrown is, in a couple this MFers. This is the yeah. most yeah. one of the most frustrating games there is to play. No doubt, it, it it just is because you could take the best player in the world. Bob will take a wonky bounce or any no yeah any one of many unexpected things can happen and just drive you nuts. <laughs> right. I said even just practicing right now, I tip a ball, I feel like I want to snap the Sesta, so I, I get it still, but... Hey, we, Don't snap the no, Sesta. No, no. Hey, and gentlemen, we're ready to begin Game 7. It is a spectacular 7 doubles match, part of the doubles championship season here at Series, here at Magic City.
Serving red shirts, a post one. Bueno and Robin receiving blue, a post two. CRB and Benny. There's the serve. We begin. Here's the backhand. Catch by Benny. Rote save. CRB, backhand from the two line. Robote coming out. Robote forehand to the outside. Five, bueno, we'll land wide, point two. Two team first up on the board here in our seventh game. Now bring to the court the white shirts of uh, post three. We have Douglas in the front court with Kubala in the back court. Douglas picks the serve. There's the drop shot. Well executed and scoring, point three. Now bring to the court the green shirts post four. We have Jedden and Manny receiving. Point three. Black shirts post five receiving Anderluck and Julen. There's backhand to the inside. Point five. Yellow shirt of post six go Sherry and Flores receive. Legend, interesting question. Goanaga versus Manny, who wins? That's really a day-to-day -day thing. If Manny's on, his defensive game is absolutely fantastic. Goanaga's been pretty hot lately. So if Manny's even the, Manny's a little tired, maybe Goanaga. Drop shot. Scores, point six. Receiving. Pink shirts, uh, post seven. Cool fitness and Arats. We generally don't prognosticate, but it, that's re that really is what it comes down to, just from a playing highlight standpoint. Goanaga's been pretty hot lately, but Manny is, he's, his highlight IQ is higher than most of the guys in the building, my own included. Backhand by Rots. Here's the backhand by Rots. Robote, left side. Gushetti, backhand from the 10. Robote, forehand. Gushetti on the catch. Split placement, stopped by Rots. Karen by Rots. Will score. Point seven. Here now to complete the first round and receive purple shirts of post eight, Inaki and Bragley. Bragley advances to make the catch. Powerful forehand. Robote left side by Inaki falls short, point seven. First round's complete. Matchups are worth two points now through the end of the game. First to return, the red of post one. Bueno and Robin.
Somehow that was a good serve. Beautiful catch by Rots. There's the backhand. Robbins there, pulling it off the side wall. Beautiful catch by Rots in the corner. Big backhand again. Robin takes it in the air. Backhand to all. Rots calls for it, has it on the forehand. Big right side. Robin, good read on the rebote. Puts it inside. Big backhand. Arats on the backhand. Here's the backhand by Arats. Robin's there. Arats on the catch. Scoop by Robin. There's the backhand. Robote. Catch by Robin. Robote forehand. Oh, cool fitness called him off. Point one. One again serves for the blue post two, CRB and Benny. There's a catch by Benny, backhand. Robin's there. To all, scooped up by CRB, but he does not hold on, point one. Four points for the one post. He served at the four post. Jedden and Manny return. Right side by Manny. Catch by Robin. Jen reaches up to make the catch. Forehand. Here's the backhand. Manny makes the catch. Backhand to the inside. Robote coming out. What a catch by Bueno. Robin's there. Backhand to the inside. Bueno attacks up the five line. Manny from the 11 over the top to the inside. Wow, powerful forehand by Robin. Here's Robin for the 10, backhand, low and hard. Manny's there. Oh, that caught the overhead screen. That's out of play. Manny wants to know why all that yelling was necessary. <laughs> Point four. White shirts, post three received. Douglas and Kubala. Douglas will take the serve. Manny takes it in the air at the eight line. Nice catch. Kubala from the forehand. Douglas, great catch. Outside placement, what a catch by Jed. 
Tremendous effort by Jedden to work with the side screen there. Great effort. That will go wide. Point three. Three with four points. Here's post five. Andrew Luck and Julen. Point three. They're on the board with six points here. Post six, Gosheri and Flores, possible game point for Douglas and Kubala. Backhand by Gosheri Robote coming out. Here's a backhand by Kubala to the inside. Gosheri takes it in the air. Backhand. Powerfully, powerfully thrown. Robote coming out to Douglas. Douglas in the forehand. Robote by Gosheri. Kubala's there. Backhand from the 12 line. Backhand by Douglas. Backhand by Kubala. Scoop by Gosheti. Hard to the inside, good read by Kubala. Here's the backhand. Scoop by Gosheti. Backhand. A bullet to the corner, not much coming out. Douglas makes the save, Gosheri attacks. Split placement score. Such a well played point by all four players. Point six. Six with three points, here's post eight. Inaki and Bragley. Scoop by Goshetti. here's the backhand. Inaki, two all by Inaki, is out. Point six. Pink, uh, post seven, cool fitness. And the Rats receive its possible game point. For Gosheri and Flores. There's a backhand by Rots. Robote saved by Gosheri. That's well executed. Oh, and it scores point and game. Post six, Gosheri and Flores. Three places, one shows. Six three one, unofficial order finish for game seven.
6-3-1, the official order finished for game seven. Coming in first, post six, Gosheri and Flores. Taking second, post three, Douglas and Kubala. Coming in third, post one, Bueno and Robin. There are your prices. $2 Canelo, 3-6, 14 60 The trifecta, 631, 132 even. Cello wager on six to win, 12 60 Up next, ladies and gentlemen, is game number eight. It's a spectacular seven singles match. Play to seven points with points doubling after the first round of play. And the high five. Forgot to mention that, ladies and gentlemen. I just looked up at the screen and I saw the high five went $2,000. Two days back to back. Up next, game eight. Final Pelota game in advance of battle court at 5 p.m. Play to seven points. Points double after the first round of play. No scratches in game eight. And post time is seven minutes away. Good luck. Miami of Hustle City, man. Everybody got more than one gig. One stop, boy, $20. I'm not your neighborhood Uber driver. I do luxury. And then I have another job. I'll play high line. I have this crazy idea. Do you think we could send something out to all the ex-athletes for the last 20 years and say, we're looking to hire and train highlight players? When I first got the email, I thought it was pranking me. I need some clarity on this. I went on YouTube and I Googled highlight. I was like, ja <laughs> They paying us, man, and we could win big money. Let me see what this is all about. That's what you gotta do, get some money. The players taking the court are all athletes you may recognize. Baseball, football, track and field. Having to work, play Division One sport, and then I had a child on the way, so I dropped out. The crack era was tough. Sports in general was a way out of our environment. It's really game time now, man. Blood, sweat, and tears. We got the streets on fire. This is going to be the first time that my kids will be able to sit in an audience and root for their father. Who wants it more? This is a sacrifice I think is going to pay off in the end. This is a dream for me. I got to win. Can't get drama better than this. I like became the new hustle. Oh Let's get ready to play. Ah! And folks, those are the entries. That was also a trailer for the award-winning documentary about the inaugural season of play right here at Magic City. That is called Magic City Hustle. Directed by Billy Corbin, creator of Cocaine Cowboys, Screwball, The U, and much more. This film highlights the transition of these Magic City athletes from their respective careers in other sports right here to the High Life Fronton. You can watch Magic City Hustle directly from Google Play or iTunes. It is as simple as that. Either rent or buy from either platform. If you buy it for just a few dollars more, you get to enjoy it as many times as you like for life. That will take us down here. Five minutes. The start of game number eight. Late pick three will conclude here. Mighty Ocho will conclude. Everything must go here in game number eight. Well, Legend mentioning a battle court match coming up later. Renegades and Warriors, third and final matchup between these two teams here in our regular season could be a preview of a of a championship potentially. It got a, a you really got three teams here. You got the Chargers, you got the Renegades, you got the Warriors vying for that top spot. Right now, going into today. The Warriors have won 62.5% of their points. The, the Renegades at 60%. Then you have the Chargers down at uh, just over 56% of their points this year. So those three teams pretty bunched up. Also, the Devils in fourth place. They're, they've won 54, just north of 54% of their points this year. However, Olharan will be out on the next game day for the Devils. So that's going to be, look at the schedule here, April 
I don't think tomorrow, but April 8th will be the day that he is out when they play the Cyclones and potentially be out on the 19th as well. So the Devils, yeah, they, they need a big day tomorrow. So we keep some keep themselves in a comfortable spot inside the playoffs. Got the Cyclones in fifth. They've won just north of 37% of their points. And then the Fireballs just shy of 28%. So you see their fourth and fifth place a little bit further down compared to the top four. But the Cyclones still with an outside chance and favorable schedule that they match up with the Devils when you may not see a lot of Olheron over the next couple of game days. Tomorrow, it will be uh, tomorrow he will be good when the Devils play the Cyclones. But Monday, April 8th, that will be the day for sure that Olheron will not be here and most likely April 19th against the Cyclones as well. But the slate today, six matches in order. We get started with Goenagan and Manny, third division singles. Then go Sherry and Ben take on Douglas and Julen, second division doubles. Third match, second division singles, Arats against Nicholas. Then six division doubles, Joseph and Arta take on Williams and Julen. Fourth division, Goenagan and Ben against Correa and Manny. And then division one, top ranked doubles match to close it out. Go Sherry and Arats against Douglas and Nicholas. Those will be the six matches in order today. Final regular season showdown between the Renegades and the Warriors. It's at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Watch it on the Highline app, ESPN3, YouTube, a bunch of different places where you can watch it here in our spring 24 season. Post time, less than a minute for game eight. With that, let's begin game number eight. Time to begin the eighth and final game four. This afternoon's performance, don't forget we are back with Battle Court, just less than an hour, well, actually, yeah, a little less than an hour from now, 5 p.m. Game eight has played two seven points, and points will double after the first round of play. Up first and serving in the red shirt of post one, Nicholas receiving the blue of post two, Manu. Nicholas serves, we begin. Robote forehand, scoop by Manu, backhand. Robote forehand to the inside. Manu's there. Low runner, scooped up, there's the backhand. That ball hits the overhead screen, point one. Receiving the white shirt of post three, number 31, high row. Ball touched the overhead screen, point one. Now receiving in the green shirt of post four, number 13, Douglas. Ball 
There's a backhand by Douglas, powerfully thrown to the corner. Robote forehand by Nicholas. Douglas is there, backhand. That ball does not clear the overhead screen, point four. Douglas will take over the serve, receiving the black opposed five, Manny. Backhand by Manny. Douglas sets up for the Robote at the nine line. Two all beautifully executed and scoring. Point four. In this matchup, we have Douglas serving to Inaki, yellow post six. Here's a backhand by Naki. Robote, left side, two all. That scores. Point four. Three points for the four post. Pink of post seven, Gosheri receives. Backhand by Gosheri. Catch by Douglas. Backhand from the 10 line. Gosheri's there. Two all, low, 0.7. Here now to complete the first round and receive purple at post eight, Arat. Rots on the catch. Here's the backhand. Robote left side. Does not clear the pad. Point eight. That completes the first round of play. Matchups are worth two points now through the end of the game. First to return. The blue opposed to Manu. Manuel on the catch, backhand from the nine line. Manuel on the catch. Costello two all with a soft touch. Scores, well played by Manu, point two. Two at two points, here's post three. Hiro. There's the backhand by Hiro. Robote forehand. Hiro on the catch. Scoop by Manu, that's beautiful. Manu on the catch, he winds up. Costello two all, is in and scores. Point two. Manu with four points. Here's the red of post one, Nicholas.
There's a backhand by Manu. On the wall, not coming out, point two. Manu's gone to possible game point with six points. Trying to stop him, Manny. Robote forehand by Manny. Manu makes the catch. Backhand. Thrown hard to the inside. Manny's there. Inside placement. Manny now from the 11 line. Manu, that's a beautiful catch off the side wall. Rebote left side by Manny. Manny on the catch. Manu's there. Backhand from the seven line. Rebote forehand is in the pad, and the pad is bad. One in game, post two. Manu, four places, one shows. Unofficial order finish, two, four, one. Your prices will be up in a moment. Winning game eight, post two, Manu taking second, post four, Douglas coming in third, post one, Nicholas. Two, four, one, the official order finished for game eight. Four of eight, the mighty Ocho, five, even. Two dollar, Canelo, two, four, 32, 80, trifecta, two, four, one, $280. dollars dollar wager on two to win, eight dollars and 40 cents. Late pick three, 262. Three of three numbers returning 50280. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will do it for this Monday afternoon performance of Live High Line in the Magic City on the High Line channel. We're glad that you chose to join us this afternoon and invite you to join us just about 45 minutes now for Battle Court. Fantastic evening of High Line planned for you. On behalf of the players, staff, and management of Magic City High Line, we thank you for joining us. Don't forget Battle Court 5 p.m. Then we're back tomorrow afternoon at 1.30 p.m. Followed by Battle Court again at 5. That's all Monday and Tuesday. Thanks for joining us again. Have a good day. Bye-bye.